Toda, CQ Toda. Hey, it's Tango Oscar Mike. Um, I'm out <laughs> playing a little radio in the driveway, trying to set up the Wolf River coil as a, uh, a mobile antenna. Not that I will drive with it, but as a mobile antenna, <coughs> I've used the counterpoise. Um, I tried configuring it as an Envis 2, but the, uh, the wire I'm using is actually too long, and I don't want to cut it. I could coil it up, but uh, I, I've had this antenna for a while, and I've used it before uh, to make contacts uh, sitting on the ground on the tripod. But in this configuration, it's really not working that great for me. It's, uh, it's very touchy to tune. I'm getting a lot of RF back into my radio. Uh, I can tell because when I try to analyze it, if I put my thumb on the analyzer keypad, the SWR changes, which I found out from other instances that that's um, a problem. Uh, that means I'm getting RF back into the device. So, yeah, to me it's just easier to put up a NFED antenna on my trailer hitch. Um, I can't drive with this anyhow. So it's easier to put an NFED or my link dipole up on my mast on the back of the truck. So I, I, I wouldn't recommend this for a mobile configuration. And I know people use these and love these antennas. I've had this one for a while and I really haven't been that impressed with it. It's cheap for what it does, yes. Um, and if you're looking for a nice vertical now, I only have the standard whip on it, which I think is 78 inches, and maybe it would be work better with a longer whip. But on 20 meters, I've actually had to shorten the whip uh, to get it to tune properly. And that's using none of the coil at all. So, I, I, I just don't... It's going to get packed up and it's going to go back in the bag and I'll keep it for some other instance, maybe. Maybe I'll sell it. If you're interested in a Wolf River coil at a cheap price, let me know. But um, I have everything for it. I have a bunch of accessories. I even bought a couple of extensions to it so I can make it uh, so it's, it becomes a center-loaded antenna instead of a um, base-loaded uh, antenna. Uh, I got the radial wires and stuff like that for it, but... It's one of those antennas that it, it works, but to me it seems more hassle than using some of the other antennas I have. Uh, it's kind of like the, the F-Loop. The F-Loop works great, but it's an antenna that it's good for um, doing parks on the air if you're calling CQ, but if you're changing bands a lot, uh, it's, it's a pain to tune. Um, so that's another antenna that I have that I don't use that much because I just found that it's so much easier to use a wire, a simple wire antenna. Um, and it's a lot cheaper too. I bought the Wolf River coil, oh, I bought the Wolf River coil, it was, you know, a hundred and, I think with everything it was like probably a hundred and, hundred and twenty, something like that. But then I added a bunch of stuff to it, so I probably added another... 60 70 dollars with the extensions i have for it um the loop antenna the magnetic loop antenna that was 400 dollars. i bought it i got well i got it for christmas so i bought it <laughs> um and it works and it, i'm sure it would be good for a confined area um but they're just antennas that i don't use that much you know it's hard to it's hard for me to use these. Now, if I didn't have anything else, if I didn't have any anything else to use, uh, it might be a different story, but because I use so many wire antennas, using a wire antenna just seems so much simpler to me than fighting with one of these. I'd love to try the Chameleon Empath uh, antenna. That's you, you tune that one. But because you're tuning that with the, the matchbox, I think that's going to be a compromise as well. Um, 
I may just have to break down and get a screwdriver antenna for the truck here if I want to do HF from the truck. Uh, I think that might be a, a much easier way to go. But yeah, so I'm going to pack this up and probably put up another antenna or do some other playing around. But uh, yeah, I'm going. It works. I just don't think it works. I think it's more of a hassle than than what it's worth to me. Um, because I have the trailer hitch and the mast I can throw in the back of the truck, that just seems like such a simpler setup to me. Uh, it's quick, it's tuned, I don't have to retune it when I change bands. Uh, since it's full length, I get the full spectrum of the band. Um, if I want to go to 40 meters, I you know, link dipole, but if I use my NFED, I don't even have to I don't even have to change anything. So just just my thoughts while I'm out here playing in the yard. Um, Yeah. Let me know what you think. Put your uh, comments uh, down below and uh, let me know what you think about the Wolf River Coil and your experience compared to... Now, if you've never compared anything, if you just only use the Wolf River Coil, you're not going to be that helpful. But if you use the Wolf River Coil and you use other antennas, what are your opinions? What do you think's easier? What do you think's... Um, what do you think's a better antenna? Mike.